We're going to check the score. Take a break in the game. Stay with us. Let's go back to the open questions. This one's worth 50 points. What's the term used to describe the study of earthquakes? Wendy. Seismology? Yes, that's right. Name the place on the surface of the Earth closest, Peter. Epicenter? That's right. That's closest to the focus of an earthquake. What giant ocean wave is the result of some, Peter? Tsunami. Yes, that's right. What's the name applied to the band of intense seismic activity located, Peter? P waves? No. For Bracebridge, the rest of the question, Jim? Uh, Van Allen belts? No, ring of fire I needed. It's uh, located around the Pacific. Identify the profound break in the Earth's crust that can be found on the west, Peter. San Andreas Fault? That's right, on the west coast of the U.S. And this one, called After the Bath by Mary Cassette. What French school of painting is associated with Mary Cassette? Joby? Sorbonne? Not right. Brampton Centennial. Peter? La School Dart? It's Impressionism. And this one, The Kitchen Table. What, Peter? Cezanne? That is right, the post-impressionist. Central Field, Vicus? Must be Pearson. Fine. The study of the science of climates is called... Peter? Climatology? That's fine. Who fiddled while Rome burned? That's the end of the game. And it was a close one, an exciting finish. We'll be back to make it official right after this. Centennial, the winner of tonight's match. Congratulations to Peter, Don, Dave, and Dean. Fine way of going out of 1983. And thanks for a great game from Gravenhurst High School. This is Al Brooks for Jerry Allaby. Be with us next week for the first round of flight number three on Reach for the Top.